Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. Today I have an awesome estate sale haul. Whoa, it was a good one. Now here's the clincher or the whatever. Today was the third day. I, I don't even know how I didn't get there on day one. I know how I didn't get there yesterday because I had my sale and it would have been like too far to try to do. It wasn't like far away, but for a before my sale kind of timing, it would have been. But I don't know how I didn't know about it. Anyhow, the funny thing is that at the end, um, and most of the things were not priced, by the way. So that was a, a you know, that's a chance you take when you bring up as much stuff as I brought up. Um, but the guy was like, wow, I should just call you before every sale. And I'm like, uh, yeah, you should. <laughs> so I might have to call him back and say, um, dude, hit me up. I mean, not in that way because he was a smoker and I mean a heavy smoker, but you know, otherwise he was the right age and everything just, oh well. So anyhow, um, yeah, I'm going to start off with my favorite thing. I'm, I'm, I'm just going right to it, right to it, mainly because it's right here. And also because I, um, I don't want anything to happen to it. <laughs> I have it wrapped up in a, another item that somebody else will have the chance to get. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I got this piece of Franciscan starburst and I got it for 25. It says 50. I did get it for 25. Um, because I, uh, yeah, I, well, so he had a bunch of, um, you know, he, they had, he, it was the a family that they were, it was the company that I was talking to is that I'm saying he, but so the family, I guess had, there were, I, I took a picture. I'll have, I'll be posting that on Instagram of the things I didn't get. Um, but, um, Oh man, I mean, look at the little nubby notches. I love those. Like the, I love that. I just had to have a piece of this. Like I have a, I think I have a, a little saucer. And I might have, I want to say I might have another piece. I might have a gravy boat. I'm not sure. But, um, I was like, what the heck? I'm just going to ask him if he'll take half off because I had already bought so much stuff. And so he did. So there was that. I was happy with that. Um, and then I'll show you this, uh, other thing. And you know what? I should have done, I should have grabbed that box that is over there. And I can't right now because I'm in my, I'm not fully dressed. Now that. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need that too though. And the other, I got Jill some things. And the other thing, did I take that other thing back? Yeah, you took it back. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did. Sure. Um, but anyway, it's okay. I can get that other thing later. All right. So, um, but yeah, so I really would love to know. I'm going to try to find a way to know if there are pieces of Franciscan Starburst that people would buy. And, you know, like if I knew... I mean, I'm not getting this for like three bucks, five bucks. So I, if I'd have to know going into it, if people were going to buy, I guess, um, I did get this, this, um, it's a little different than most of what I got. Cause I don't always look at the clothes. Um, I can't put it on cause my, my shoulder is a little too broad. So it's for a smaller girl, <laughs> but it's awesome. It's silky. Um, you know, it's probably a bathrobe, but, um, but you know, kimono, it's got the two, um, pieces inside that tie together. And then it's got a pocket. I think only one side has a pocket. So right there. And then it's got a silky little, um, uh, belt or, um, tie, whatever you want to call it. So I'm, I'll, I'll probably try to measure something on this to try to figure out what the size is. Um, whenever I, I sell it and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to guess that it's going to be in a 
boho sale. <laughs> Technically speaking, my boho girls are the ones that would um, go and wear something like this. So, okay, so this is the first item that I got for Jill. She loves old gloves. If I'm going to help her um, put a display together, a proper collection display. Um, and they're these, and they're like, um, they're like microfibers. So I don't know what the proper term is for them. They're too small for either one of us to get our big fat hands in, but they're so pretty. Look at the detailing little, like, um, little, like, I don't know what that's even considered, but just like they make a design and it almost looks like a paisley design embroidery. huh embroidery. well yeah i guess it is embroidery yeah it's a fellow walk by sorry so they embroidered these like little nubbins that look like paisley and then along the the you know i wouldn't say wrist but i guess yeah just a little past the wrist you know so they're really pretty and these i'm gonna have to look into this uh if we can um possibly um, oxyclean these. I'm not sure with that material. Um, and, and it, like I say, it's microfiber feeling. I mean, let's, I guess it's probably a suede. So if anybody knows right offhand about something like that, about cleaning that, if oxy would be too much for this, I don't know. Um, but let me know. I, I had, um, actually the girl at the, um, the girl that was collecting the money, the, she was younger. She, um, said to me, do you know how to get, she said, I have this favorite shirt and she, it, it got a stain and she used Oxy on it and it, she left it for too long. And now there's like a bleach kind of spot. So I was trying to tell her, I told her how to tea stain something. And then she said, it's like pink and gray. So then I said, well, you could use a little writ dye. You know, and I was telling her how to like pull it together and then, you know, like put a, a, a rubber band and dip it and all this. And so I was all helpful, but, um, yeah. So the other end of the oxy, <laughs> you know, you don't, if you leave something in too long, it will, you know, overdo. It depends on the material and the, the amount of, um, dirt <laughs> that we're talking about. So, um, okay. So this is very Tanala esque. I, uh, oh, I didn't see that the, well, it's not, is that repaired? I guess it is repaired. Well, I don't care. Oh God. The neck is repaired too. Goodness, I did not see that. Well, <laughs> anyhow, I like it because it's like a Tanala, but it's gray. It's really cool. So, um, yeah, there's that and there's that. Turns out my eyesight's not the best. They're so, it's so cute though. From a certain distance, you don't notice. Well, certainly not when I saw it in the cabinet and I just grabbed it out of it. So, so we'll see about that. Um, anyway, <laughs> Bella's bugging her aunt to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> and here's uh, this guy is not marked, but look at this. Oh, I, you know, I don't care for a critter and I definitely don't care for a raccoon but when I find a little thingy majiggy with these this little fuzz on it I'm there for it I am there for it look how adorable oh isn't that just precious no markings like I said but I mean I'm sure there was another one or it came with a set or something but this is super cute right so got that there is no order for this. This guy, he had this marked at $10. So I don't know what I ended up paying for it. Like there were a few things that were marked. 
handcrafted by Bovano, Bovano of Cheshire, Connecticut. I mean, he was probably charging like prices that I, I will charge, you know? And it's like, um, that's enamel underneath the flower there. Yep. So that's enamel. That's cool. See? It's really cute. It's almost like, is this brutalist? I don't think so, but it's it's in that vein. But yeah, and I like the little flowery, flowery, uh, and it's like a stone, flat stone or something that it's, so it's cute. Really neat. <clears throat> this thing is filthy. Like I, there were many times where I took it upon myself to dump out whatever was in something, whatever was in something that I wanted. So this thing is filthy and I will clean it out, but, and I will try to get that off, which says, uh, miscellaneous. And this is miscellaneous on the side as well. And there's gunk all over it, but it's a tea container. There's the tea for tea. <laughs> And, um, underneath it says, um, size number 110, CO, COLS, Columbus, Plastic Product Company, Pro Plastic Product Inc., COLSO, so Columbus, Ohio. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to guess this is pretty old, um, not only because of what it is, but because of those kind of, um, in, uh, abbreviations, so. There's that. That's pretty cool. That's uh, something that I would have like wanted when I had my cherry kitchen, right? I got these three things. They're just plastic, and I'm going to keep them, um, you know, for whenever I um, move for my kitchen. They're super cool. They're like, I guess, little trivets, but, I'm, you know, I'm going to put them on a wall. This is the other thing I got Jill. She loves polka dots. Like, loves. She freaked out. She loved it. Didn't you? Yes, I did. Um, and I want to see if there's a manufacturer. This thing will need some. Um, oh, yeah, this is by Spring Made. No Iron Wonder Kale. <laughs> Standard pillowcase. And uh, this will need a little Oxy as well. But it's, like, got big... Uh, white with big dots, red with little, little dots, and then white with, um, I mean, red with little, little dots, and then white with uh, littler, littler but bigger dots. <laughs> so, yes, she very much, very much liked it. And so, I did good. I got her two things today. I'm a good roommate. <laughs> She's not disagreeing. <laughs> Haven't murdered her. And we watch a lot of murder. <laughs> about roommates, no less. <laughs> she hasn't stolen my house from underneath me yet. Yeah, see? So yes. this is a... <laughs> this is a fall item. But it's like a... Um, well, it's like a shadow box. It looks like I'm going to have to... I don't know. There looks like this is... Somebody pushed the the plastic in, so I might have to try to pull it out, but I don't want to take this apart. Anyway, it's super cute. Ah, there you can see. It's a, what do you call that? It's 3D, and I think it's like paper. I don't know. It's cute, though. Super cute. I got to try to bend it so you don't see that. The shiny. So yeah, that'll be a, a fall item. I got, oh, you guys, I had, <laughs> okay, the guy said, you're a really good picker. <laughs> he said, you're a really good picker. And then he said, you, I should really have you come out before sales. Um, so I had one thing that I'll show you, it was so dirty and so many, I'll tell you all about it, but let me just say I was filthy. 
not not filthy, but I, I was dirty. Um, and uh, and also another thing I had grabbed, I didn't realize still had salt in it. Oh, there's nothing worse than when you don't know there's still salt in something. Oh man, so yes, there's a salt situation, and there's also probably a salt situation they're not aware of on the floor in the living room of the house where I kept my pile a brewing. So anyhow, here is a bunch of trim, a, a bunch, a whole bunch. So somebody like that. And now here is one of the tins that I emptied because you guys are going to thank me. I know you love your turtles, turtles. I mean, it's so cute with that. That's an awesome graphic right there. It's got a little dent. You might be able to even, I might be able to even pop that out. Um, made only by Demetz. Established in 1898 in uh, Chicago, 6, comma, Illinois. So how old is that? Before 1963, I believe. Is it 63? I'll have to check because I can't remember. 65 or 63 when they started the zip codes. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, it sounds delicious with the ingredients. And then look at this little turtle fella on here. Get out of town. This thing is all bedecked of turtles. There's more. <laughs> um, but this held hooks. In case you didn't know hooks, um, well, you would know by up here. Oh, hooks. Then they must have taken out the hooks and put in miscellaneous hardware. Yes. The guy was very um, into labeling very largely, apparently. So... I'm going to do my best to get all that off. I like finding things sometimes when they say something on them, but this is more messy than kind of clever or cute or whatever. And um, it, I, I, actually, the inside's pretty clean considering, you know, it's been holding hooks that I dumped out. <laughs> but um, it's a like a peach orange salmon color with gray. And then you can tell that this is a little more faded than this, you know, the color of that, but, um, really cool, cool, um, tin. I, I'm telling you, I got some really good tins today. Um, and then I've got, I gotta get some things out of here. Um, this, um, there was only one, um, stirrer stir stick look at it it's a ski pole isn't that cool and it's pink a ski pole with some ice skates and a little bit of ick on it so i'll be cleaning that and i got this it is dansk d-a-n-s-k um where did i put my my magic eyeballs. <laughs> Didn't I just have them right here? I literally had that thing out here. My um, magnifying glass, you guys. Well, gosh darn. I just, I used it. And I, oh, there it is. Well, there it is. All right, so it's Dansk International Designs, Inc. or something, Japan, and there may or may not be a little something else that says something, I don't know, but I've never seen a silver. It's, it's and I think, honestly, now that I'm looking at the shape of it, it looks like a cardinal. Look away, Jill. Mm -hmm. Look away, Jill, because you can't have it. <laughs> Super cute. I like the, um, it's kind of chonky. It's small, but chonky. That makes sense, and I think it does. 
I got this um, cute little trinket box or pill box. Um, this is made in Italy. Um, and and the guy, <laughs> the estate sale guy, was talking about the family. Uh, the family was clearly Jewish. Uh, you didn't need anybody to tell you that. Any single room that you were in, you would have figured that out. Um, they had a ton, and I was there day three, a ton of books. Um, and you'll see one of them that I got that definitely indicates, yes, I was in a, a Jewish home. Um, but um, they, so much, so much. If you wanted to learn Hebrew, I, I can I can get you hooked up. Um, there was a dictionary. I almost got English to Hebrew or Hebrew to English, whichever. But um, they definitely traveled a lot. Um, you could tell by the um, pieces they had. It was a a very um, artfully curated. Like they had style, they had taste, um, and they had money. <laughs> Um, so a lot of the things I wasn't even going to try because I was like, oh God, no, it, it'll be, the guy will look at it and be like, no, this is, I would charge 20 for something and I would be like three, <laughs> you know, so no, but I tried to get like some things that I knew would kind of fly under the radar because again, these things weren't priced. So like, I know my girls love their butterflies and this is beautiful, made in Italy. And it's hinged really well. The inside, I think, is plastic. So I think I want to call this a pillbox. You know, maybe put some aspirin or, or, well, not aspirin. I mean, like Tylenol or, you know, whatever. I'm not here to tell you what to. A couple of, uh, what do they call them? Edibles? <laughs> whatever. Um, okay, so. I have, I think this is called the North Star pattern. My brain wants to say it's the North Star pattern. Um, I don't know if there's any more salt in here, but there certainly was. Oh yeah, there was a lot. Um, the, the funny thing is that this, the stopper is, it's this like, now I see why some things come without stoppers. This is this plastic that is so seized up that it's almost like cardboard. That's how old this is. It's like a very seized up piece of plastic that is very much on the on the brink of just like turning into crumbledness. Um, but I will be pouring out the rest of the There's only a little there. But there, there's a lot that was on that person's living room floor because I did not know. But anyhow, there's only one. And I think, I think, I think, I think that I have only one. So, and it's the North Star pattern. I either have, maybe I have two. I don't know. But I, I think I only have one odd one. So I'm, I'm happy that, you know, I mean, everybody can laugh at me. You know, because I'm all about the one-offs. But it comes together at some point, huh? Now, this is, for me, I'm very excited about it. It is not a scotch. But, um, and and I did not know that there was a price on here. It says $40. I didn't see that. So, I know I didn't pay $40. Because I made the guy a lowball offer. Because why not? He's, as he, as I heard him talking with another guy that was Jewish and he goes, oh, this is a conversation about money and two Jews having it. That's what he said. I'm a Jew. He kept saying, I'm a Jew. Two Jews having this conversation. And I'm like, oh my gosh, appropriate or no. Um, I'm guessing, uh, not really, but in, if you, if maybe he has the okay to be talking like that. So I don't know. But anyhow, I felt like I had insider information, so I'm like, I'm lowballing, why not? So, I have always wanted one of these. I want the scotch to go with, you know, with all the other stuff I have, but this will do just fine. This is by the Standard Can Company. The bottom is in really good condition. 
Um, the outside is a little banged up. The, this thing, I, there's a latch missing. Okay. Something here missing. So they've had to use like as if it was a paint can and to open it. So that's why it's a little dinged. Um, and the inside, it is not the best. There's a piece of, in, of um, see, there's some salt in there. <laughs> and um, there's some other stuff in there, too, uh, from something else. And then there's some aluminum foil. The bottom is a little messed up. I'm going to try a little Barkeeper's Friend on that. And um, so this puppy is, um, I'm proud to say, mine all mine. I'm very happy to have it. I've always wanted that because I don't think I'll, wherever I end up, I'll probably not be able to have my display, my scotch display out all year round. I highly doubt, um, like I used to. So um, now when it comes to Christmas time, I'm going to really love it even more. Okay. Oh, goodness sakes. Where should I go next? <laughs> so I got this purse. Um... I looked through a lot of purses. You'd think I would have found a bunch of designer purses, but again, day three, so maybe I missed some stuff. Uh, I don't see a brand on here anywhere, but I felt like this is exactly the kind of purse that I would bring to you guys. Um, it's it's in very much in the same vein as the Lily Bloom or the um, you know Lace Sports Sack or whatever, and it's got the the things on either side and then you, you know, so that it hangs right. So honestly, I, it's almost like I should keep this, but, um, anyhow, it's this roses and there's a pocket on the inside and it's, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's not completely like nylon, but it, it feels like a fabric, but not completely indoor, outdoor. I don't know how to describe it, but it's cute. It's like a, um, stained glass window of roses or something. So, um, very cute. And I thought, yes, I'll get that one. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. I got to try to organize some of these things. Cause, uh, when I was driving home, this guy that was clearly from somewhere else, um, pulled out, did a total U-turn in front of me and, my actually in that cooler that's where I had my uh the starburst on top of and the cooler came right between the seats and flew the the I didn't have it latched all the way that thing flew off and I was like oh my god if that scotch thing I mean if that starburst thing breaks I'm gonna <sighs> but no and then I, it was just some little person so I, t I thought oh my god did a kid steal a car well, I looked at it, it was like this tiny person from somewhere else. That's all I'll say. Clearly, they are not, they do not know how to drive here. So anyway, again, this is from a Jewish home. So I thought it was kind of funny. I thought it was cool because it's look lucite or acrylic, you know, the little nubbin, love. And so I was like, you know what? Why not? I think that's funny. Somebody might love that. Might be just the right thing for somebody out there. I don't know. I, we are all one to me. So anyhow, uh, of course I thought that was super cool. Cause I love the acrylic or lucite, whichever you want to call it. Cause you know, so this is super cool. And I was like, oh gosh, there's a a little thing on here and I don't know if it was like made in India or what because again I highly doubt that hardly that they would have a lot that was made in China because they were definitely a well-traveled family um, and I can't get this lid off so oh there we go um, I don't know what oh my god um, I don't know what these are if they're a certain kind of stone, they looked on, honestly, they look like mini, um, Milano cookies from Pet Pepperidge Farm. So I'm going to have to do some, I don't know. Somebody's going to tell me I'm an idiot. I know who's going to tell me that. <laughs> um, but 
anyhow, I don't know what that is. I'll find out. And then it's in this and it's really cool. I like this a lot. This is something I would almost want to keep. <coughs> Excuse me. Got this. Um, it is a candle made in Japan. It says, I love you. And it is from, I'm sure it's from the berries. Let's see if I can get a good read on that. Um, it's hard. It might be backwards even. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Maybe not. Maybe not the berries. I don't know. But it's so funny because I couldn't believe it was a candle. This whole thing is wax. And it's got these little flower powers on the side, which I love. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it has bubbly eyes. And it's so cute. I guess that's a little baby. That's like got no color left to it, if it did. But it's so cute, and this is so different. It's a candle. <laughs> Who knew? So, yeah, I had to get that. All right. Um, this is one of the first things I grabbed, and it was making me kind of nervous because it's not, like, wrapped or anything. And this is... Um, and I, I, I got this because I've, I've had pieces before. This is made in Italy, and it's a uh, motahede design. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I had something recently where uh, it was the same. So I recognized that. And it's really pretty. So look at that. Isn't that neat? So this is a nice piece from Italy, no less. Um, and... All right. Um, <laughs> I saw in the pictures, I saw this. I remembered seeing it. Um, and then it was in the bathroom, which was funny. But it's pink and yellow and green. It's fantastic. Love the pink. Make it a salad. Super cool. And it has some, uh, it has the, the little, um, tabs that somebody has, um, turned them around instead of ABC, you know, and they have, um, appetizers, breakfast ideas, cakes, pasta, candies and frostings, soup, vegetables, fruits, seafoods, chicken, Oriental, sorry, but that's what it says. Pies, meats, casseroles, breads, desserts, cookies, salad, and dressings. So I'm going to leave those in there. But this is so good. The colors are fantastic. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I, I just feel like that they, like, they had... I, if I could have been there on day one, I know I remember seeing certain things in the pictures that I definitely know I didn't get. They didn't, it wasn't like every single thing. Matter of fact, I'll probably go look at the pictures again to see if what, you know, I might have missed. But honestly, I don't feel like I missed much except this big bulletin board that was like blue and green kind of 70s design. And, um... There was one other thing I'm thinking of, but definitely that thing I was thinking of. There was something else I just can't remember. Okay, so I have a thing for these bags, these old bags that I just I just have a thing for them. What can I say? So this is just the old bags from back in the day, 70s. Just have a little rip here, but um, I'm just going to display them because I love them. So I have a few. So, yeah, there's that. I like it, and that's that. Um, here's another fall. Oh, no, this is a different one. Um, this is something else. Um, this, there, okay, so, definitely there was a, a, an artist in the family. One entire room 
was um, like pictures that were made or done. And I have a, I grabbed a couple of them, um, like photographs. I mean, um, supplies in the closet. This girl was on the floor going through it looking for art pencils, but they said they were all gone. All kinds of art papers and um, not like the kind of ephemera that I would use, like like blank paper, a lot of like different, you know, uh, mediums of paper. Um, and, oh, is that in the way? No. Is this what you were looking for? No, I needed the blank box, the what? empty box. I Didn't I have an empty box on there? <laughs> of course, that's what I moved. Oh, yeah, because I want to put that in, all this in there. Um, so anyhow, there was definitely an artist. There was art all over the walls. Um, and you know, it wasn't all recognizable. Um, matter of fact, there was a big mushroom painting, um, on the stair stairway walls to the basement, but it was a little too like childlike for me. But, um, anyhow, um, so I'm going to guess that she did this and it, now I see it's a, she, it's as made by Sharon and some really, ah, uh, man, I wish this sticker thing wasn't on there because I can see, look at this. It was a face of a woman. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Now that I would love. I almost want to take this apart to see if I can find that. And they have it all taped up anyway, so I might take it apart and just sell because I just, this is what I've got and it's super cute, but it's on this like kind of, you know, <laughs> MacGyvered frame. So I am very likely going to take this apart because I really am interested in what's underneath and the tape that they used is very, uh, <laughs> fibrous, fibrous. Look at, <laughs> so, all right. Um, this thing, okay, here's another thing I emptied. I emptied this. It was full of yarn <laughs> and I just wanted the bag. It is from Stride Right. It says Stride Right Brewery, Northridge Shopping Center. Oh, I grew up at Northridge. That was my mall and it closed like the year I moved back here. Oh my gosh. It was the, that was the best. But anyhow, it's just this old advertising that is so cool. And I just said, I don't know how I'm going to use it or what, I, what I'm going to do, but I'm dumping it out and I'm going to use this bag. So that's what I did. So this is what I got out of the art room. Um, I got, so I got two photographs. I thought this was cool. I got this one. And then I love this one. I love the 70s-ness of it all. So, so groovy. This dude, you can, can you see that there? This dude in the trees. Very 70s. <laughs> so, I like that. And this, I thought was really cool. It's a ready-to-use Art Deco Borders book. Um, and this book is from... 1988, but look at this. I mean, look at all that really cool Art Deco. Oh, well, some of it's on the other side, so you can't see it. But so I thought, well, there I know plenty of people that are into that era and that you could do plenty of with this with for frames and stuff. Yeah, I think that's going to be something that somebody would like. And then I got this uh, smaller little mini clipboard because I um, I think it will look cute with like a picture on it. Is Bella here or no? Oh, okay. I just heard her. And then, you know, so. Then I got um, a bunch of uh, postcards. I don't even know if there's anything super great about these. Joaquina Falls, I don't know even where that is. It's in Oregon. Columbia River Gorge near Multnomah, Multnomah Falls. Okay, I don't know. But again, see how cool would that look? 
just like that, you know? So that's the idea of, of that for me. Um, so there's some outdoor stuff. Oh, this one's at How Harvard. A picture. So, you know, sometimes I'm, I like to sell some of these. Um, and some stuff, sometimes I just, uh, put them in my, as a thank you, you know, this is dogwood or cherry wood or some cherry wood. What did I say? What is it? Cherry blossom. I mean, I don't know. They, somebody might've gone to Harvard because this is a lot of stuff from the botanical society at Harvard. Um, this is Horseshoe Falls in Michigan. But, I mean, I also might sell these, you know, as um, some small little, uh, this is in Michigan, as some small little uh, ephemera packs or something. This one must be in Michigan, near the UP, it sounds like. By my girl, Rach. Oh, yeah, this looks like a, yep, another Lake Superior in Michigan's UP. Definitely up there by the girl. <laughs> My little sis. Um, oh, this is an actual... What is this? It, on the back, it looks like a picture. May 1996, but it's not. I don't know what that is. So, it feels good. It's neat. So, that. And this is another postcard from the Botanical Museum in Harvard. <laughs> oh, he's here. I'm gonna have to put pants on. Um, this is a dancer. This is Museum of Modern Art. That's cool. Um, Another Museum of Modern Art. Uh, this is cool. Another one of the Harvard things. Um, another Harvard botanical thing. This is in Arizona. Arizona. Um... Portland, Oregon. Oh, this is a cool picture. This is that place in Oregon, too. Um, oh, this is really cool. In Oregon, Japanese garden. <clears throat> Another. <coughs> this is a picture of a print that you can get for $95 or $120. <laughs> There's another one from Harvard. <laughs> oh, and this is some more of these. Oh, I got a bunch of them. A bunch of these. They're, they're like photographs, so it's weird. Like pictures of something. And then this is just a card. Um, so, there's that. So, that's cool. And then, of course, another tin that I emptied out. <laughs> And this had uh, sewing notions in it, or no, art art stuff. And it says, Valley Brook Finest Chocolate Chip Cookies with Pure Chocolate Drops. Mm. But that's going to be cute in a fall display, right? I think it will. And this little guy, it says, I love you this much. This is probably another Russ Berry thing. Yep, the berries. 1971. Made in Hong Kong. Yeah, she's asleep. And here he is. He's plastic. He's super cool. It's going to be everybody's favorite thing. So I'm going to stop for a minute. And actually, you guys, you know what? Um, that'll be it. And I'll do a part two. Um, I'll do a part two for the with the rest of it. All right? So everybody, you guys, make sure you like this. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. And, um, he, he came to bring me a, a shirt. Here, here's my, my buddy. That's my buddy. He was just at the Brewer game. Say hi, Dave. Hi. We got to scoot down. <laughs> He's such I a dork. 
Yeah, if you guys want to buy a Brewers um, shirt. Hawaiian shirt night tonight, Friday night, Miller Park. Oh, wait. American Fan Field. Yeah, Am Fan Field. So, um, yeah, so he is a oh, just on time for Little Devil. Thirty-four ninety-nine. So if you're interested in the, if you're interested in the shirt, thirty-four ninety-nine free shipping for Milwaukee Brewers. Um, you heard him. All right, so I will do a part two for the rest of this haul. Everybody, have a great week. Have a great week, everybody. <laughs> Bye.